So I'm on my way to the post office. My husband was showing me a video how you can send mail to where you just pay two cents per half ounce because allegedly there's some kind of underlying law that everybody seems to have ignored and it's all in how you address your mail like you know you address it the same way you normally would the person's name your name um, in this in the same area with their address and the only difference is that you would write um, you know the city and you spell out the state and you don't put a zip code um, you can put um, zip exempt Um, I have a total of eight that I need to mail. I'm assuming mine are maybe an ounce. So like if I were to mail all of these, let's just suppose at 49 cents, they would be what, like three, almost like $4. Um, you can't do like any kind of business. Like for example, if you're paying a bill to your water company or something, you cannot send the mail in this manner. You have to put a regular, normal postage I'm almost at the post office tell me why am I nervous like I'm doing something illegal I'm getting nervous just coming up to the post office oh my god and there's like a whole bunch of people there 0.5 so yeah 0.5 will be the the half yeah ounce, right so it's under so they're all under, they're under. Half. Well, yeah and it's only for like domestic yeah. So like if you were to send commercial like to like a business, you can't do it like this. It has to be like a resident domestic uh, mail. Yeah. You can't do it for, for, um, for your bills or whatever. That's something to to know. Yeah. Yeah, because we have, I know we have all the ones, but it's the, they have already uh, a meeting machine where they mm -hmm. run it already. Like they have like tap an account and they, they do it themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I never heard like getting stand just for that. That's why. Because we do have some of them, but it's more like business. Like you said, it's more business. Mm -hmm. So do you think, I'm not going to have an issue though here, right? Because it seems like you guys don't know about it. Would I have to talk to your head postmaster just to like, mm -hmm. verify? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can meet him at the window over here or something. So it looks like the person here didn't know about the pen. She was kind of a little skeptical too. She said they were all under half an ounce, which would mean that all I need is two cents for each and every one of these. I'm putting all my stamps on now. I told her to get the, her, the head postmaster over here. So I can just ask him. Maybe. So, are you the head postmaster? Yeah, I'm the postmaster. Okay, but I don't know if you know about um, how to send domestic mail like this. It's just all in how you write it out. You don't abbreviate and you don't use a zip code. I never see that before. I'll be honest. I never hear about that before. Uh -huh. I don't know if they're going to send the band. I, okay. Like the clerk was telling me, we never seen this before. Yeah. Never. Um, because for me, you had to pull yeah, 25 I know. cents. I tried to get as much as I could. You know, I didn't get their faces, but I wanted to get a little bit of him telling me that he had never heard of it. Um, when I did shut off the video, I did explain a little bit more to him about um, as best as I could because I I don't even know how to explain it he did kind of ask you know because it does say zip exempt he was like well how are they gonna know where to deliver it and as a matter of fact when he said that I remember one time I got a letter I received a letter from someone a Christmas card or something and it had like a completely different zip code and I still received my letter you know, it's because it had my address, it had my city, it had my state, and the zip code was entirely wrong. When he told me that, I just, I don't know why, like that just kind of popped in my head. I did show him congressional law. 
um, and he said that you know he just had never heard of it I don't know about you guys but I clearly remember like school teaching you how to properly address a letter when you're going to send it like it makes you think twice about how and what we're being taught in our public schools obviously public schools are governed by our federal government and even like state government so for them to teach you from an early age it's because they kind of want to diminish this option for people oh each stamp has gone up to 55 cents which i did not know you know that clearly would have put me over uh, like four dollars all of these just cost me 20 cents to mail so i will keep you guys posted the next morning last night as i was uploading the video and beginning to edit it i realized there were certain little things that i wanted to kind of clarify um what you'll see in the beginning the the dark video where you don't see anything it's just black you hear audio and i'm sorry for the audio i didn't hit record right away because my little girl was being a little bit clingy i had to kind of carry her as i walked up to the counter i told the girl that i wanted to buy a sheet of two cent stamps and she could weigh all of these letters for me and as she's weighing them she says now why do you need two cent stamps and i was like well for the postage and she said um all of these i can tell you now it's going to be 55 cents so i told her i just want to make sure they're all under half pounds for me to put two cents postage and she was telling me you're going to need a, a stamp for 55 cents i start telling her you can actually send mail in this manner it's two cents per half ounce so she was just like are you sure about that i don't want you to have these all returned to you and i showed her this image of the law so when i showed her that she continues to tell me she's never heard of that so then the video you start seeing where it's dark and it's just the audio is where she's weighing all my all my letters the last thing when i was talking to the postmaster i know i cut it off i don't know if you guys caught it at the very end the postmaster said no that he never heard about it he had kind of an accent right when i cut it off i couldn't make out if he said 45 or 49. the postmaster doesn't even know how much a stamp is unless he you know he just kind of forgot in that moment i don't know another thing that i do want to mention that i felt was important after i put all my stamps on it i walked away from the postmaster and I put them all in the little chute, which is way away from the customer service. You walk into my post office and it's like right in the center where you saw me um, putting the stamp. It was like this little area behind me. I did not hand it to the girl that originally helped me. I did not hand them all to the postmaster. There are several people that I will be communicating with. I will ask them to take pictures of the received mail so you guys can see that it was actually delivered and postmarked. And one more thing that I did want to add when I was mentioning the prices, because they were eight total. I think I initially said that I paid 20 cents, but it was only two cents on each letter. So I only paid 16 cents. If I would have mailed those eight with, you know, paying 55 cents, it would have been 440. Um, I also just want to mention quickly that I did put the link down below of the video that I watched where I learned this information from. Um, I think that it would be really good if you guys check it out just because the guy goes way more in depth. Um, he obviously did all the research. There's no way that I can begin to explain it. I was curious to see if it worked and I was reading a lot of the comments. A lot of people had tried it and it did work or they were saying it worked. Anybody can write that it worked. So I wanted to see for myself. I would have never known about it if I hadn't watched his video. Other than that, I mean, you know, just stay tuned. Let's see how this unfolds and I will keep you guys posted.